Hi everyone, this is Arthur from Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And I'd like to say, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribers, and all the wonderful comments. And again, the support and love that I feel from this community. Thank you. That being said, I hope you've been having a great week because this murky retrograde is really kicking me in the butt, let me tell you. Um, in fact, I was doing a show the other night with Deanne from Shield Maiden Tarot. And we didn't realize it was going on in the background until it started happening. But let's just say the show was on fire. Take a look. So the moral of the story, don't turn your back on a candle, especially from the 99 cent store. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I do get a lot of questions about weather, whether or not we're going to be here tomorrow type of thing, but it's all about Florida and also the Carolinas. And what I did say earlier before that we have two major hurricanes in the Florida area, one would come up through the Gulf, which did happen. And the other one will come up through the Atlantic. Well, we do have Hurricane Lee, the first Category 5 of the season. It's now been reduced back to Category 4. They're saying it's not expected to make landfall. And if it does, it's basically, if it's going to wreak havoc, it's going to wreak havoc in the shores of Puerto Rico and the islands. They're not really saying it's coming up to the Florida area. But what I do say is, if it's not Hurricane Lee, there's still another one coming. Actually, maybe two. And when they announce to evacuate and get the heck out of there, evacuate and get the heck out of there. I mean, the last thing you want to do is be sitting on your roof writing help me out of toilet paper, you know, for the helicopter to come pick you up. Not fun. So anyway, so that's the weather stuff. And it is going to get cooler as we get into winter. I'm just hoping it doesn't go to extremes in winter. But it might in some in parts of the country. So let's just be prepared. Let's just look at every day as like, okay, what's the worst thing that can happen and be prepared for it? Because if not, yeah. So that being said... I don't mean to sound ominous or scary or anything like that. But we got a lot of political stuff to talk about. And before I get to questions, I want to bring up some stuff about Mark Meadows. Uh, federal Judge Steve Jones in Fulton County, Georgia, denied the former White House Chief of Staff his wish of the request to move the Georgia RICO case to federal 
court. Not going to happen. It's been denied. So, of course, he's going to appeal. But what this also sets up is a lot of other people thought if Mark Meadows can get this, I can get this. Now they're realizing Mark Meadows didn't get it and he was chief of staff. I may not be able to get this. And even 45 said he may try and get it into federal court. He didn't say he was going to. He said he may try and get it into board. You know, it ain't going to happen. Because what he was doing had nothing to do with the country. It had to do with votes and stuff like that. So the other good thing that happened today was we finally got the full Georgia grand jury report. Now, originally, what, three weeks ago, they indicted Trump and 18 of his co-conspirators, named co-conspirators. But what we found out today, and I'm going to read this, was that 39 people were originally recommended for charges by a Georgia special grand jury that investigated former Donald Trump and his alleged efforts to overturn a 2020 election. Now, some of the names that are surprising, but not really, were Lindsey Graham, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, and former Senators Kelly Loeffner and David Perdue. Now they didn't make the list. But you don't need to be psychic to know they're going to show up on some other list. Maybe federal. We'll see. But don't be surprised. You heard it from me. And the first sign of going insane is when you start rhyming. So anyway... So we got a lot of questions about the Trumpster. Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. Do you see any more major ne negative news coming out about Trump from now until the GOP primary? What are you, crazy? Of course. His last name is Trump. We have more indictments coming from places like Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Not to mention the other states who, you know, that were involved in the election fraud. Also, he's pushing and pushing and pushing with his social media, saying the crazy, wacky uncle stuff more and more every day. The guy is losing it. He's unhinged. And I really, you don't need to be a psychic to know that he's pushing and pushing and pushing and daring them to do something like arrest him for contempt of court and all that kind of stuff. Cause we know he wants to be the martyr. You know, that's why we say get off the cross. We need the wood so we can build a bridge, get the hell out of here. And yes, I'm the potty mouth psychic. So that being said, Wendy asked, if, do you see Trump losing his charter to collect rents in New York city? Some legal Eagle said that this could happen in the Southern District of New York case, if he's found guilty of a charge. Well, I really get a, a big positive likelihood of that happening. But also at the same time, you know, when they take down the Trump crime family organization or just Trump Inc., whatever it is, um, that's uh, Letitia James, that that whole thing is going to be dismantled, number one. Number two, they won't be able to operate in New York City or New York State. Number three, they're all going to be pointing a finger at each other. I really feel after this, especially the New York one, um, the um, the fraud case, the tax, you know, inflation, inflating your prices and all that kind of stuff. Basically, that's going to rip the family apart. I mean, he's already throwing one of his sons under the bus saying it was, you know, he's the one that made all the decisions, not me on one of the depositions. So I really feel this is the beginning of the end of the Trump family. So we'll see, but it's going to get ugly, really ugly. I mean, I guess they could open a business in Saudi Arabia or Qatar. Uh... Demi Mond. It's like sound like, like the Lennon Mond deck. Demi Mond. Hello, Arthur. I love your videos. Thank you. 
My question is about Tennessee. For the first time in decades, as a Tennessean, I feel hopeful about our future because of the Tennessee Three. Gloria Johnson just announced that she is running for U.S. Senator to replace Marsha Blackburn. Heck. What do you see for the outcome of her campaign? Thank you. Well, first of all, Gloria Johnson's going places. Now, for those that you may not remember, she first made national headlines along with state representative Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, who I actually talked about last week, um, when they advocated for gun reform in March after the tragic slaying and shooting in Nashville, of the Nashville school. They all faced expulsion after Republicans in the chamber accused them of knowingly and intentionally bringing, quote, disorder and dishonor to the House of Representatives for leading the protest. Now, they expelled James and Pearson, who are black, but Johnson, who is white, was not. And she has said, categorically it was a racist thing that they did but they're back and she's going to go far i'm telling you right now marcia i just threw up my mouth blackburn no i don't see her getting anywhere and i feel johnson has the votes she has the people behind her and i'm not talking about i'm talking about real people okay the salt of the earth people not the MAGA, whoever they are, wannabes. And I really feel she's going places. And I said last week that both Justin Jones and Justin Pearson are going far. So it's going to be good. And here you thought the Tennessee Three was just an album by Johnny Cash. What well, is actually? And then we have Gladys asking, who oh, I just found this today. We have the same birthday. Yay. Um, Please look to see if Mr. Tuberville will have recourse for his actions that he is putting in place now by not now by not allowing the Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Army to be replaced. Thank you. Sending you blessings and light back at you. Now, the thing is, we all know, personal opinion, the guy's an idiot. He's a racist. He was talking about white nationalists you know, how they're good for the country in some ways. And um, what he's doing is this whole thing about abortion, using it as an excuse to hold up over three, about 300, you know, promotions. They're in all the armed forces. There are some people that are ready to retire. They can't because they can't replace them. And so we're talking about raises. So it's just, that it's 300 people, but all their families. So we're talking about like close to a thousand people here that he's messing their lives. And because apparently the military Pentagon is saying that if a woman needs to have an abortion and she has to go to another state, that they will reimburse her for that. And so he's holding everything up for this one thing. However, there's more. He just recently belittled the Navy saying that they're too woke that nobody wants to join the Navy anymore because it's too woke. And he brought up something about that they were, somebody was reading poetry on the, um, I think it's Gerald Ford on the boat ship. And he was like, really like went wigged out about poetry and saying how it's just too woke. Well, last week, a guy from the Navy was saying that by what he's doing, he's basically abetting and helping the enemy, you know, because our armed forces are not on the ready state they should be. So that's number one. Number two, Democrat Representative Ted Lou, Ted Lou out of California here pointed out that there's a very famous poem called In Flanders Fields. A famous poem about World War One was written by a Canadian military officer. Also, remember old blood and guts George Patton? Apparently, he wrote eighty poems. 
in his lifetime. I was very proud of them. And as Ted Lu, who actually was in the armed forces and attained the rank of colonel, said, Senator Tuberville never served. So he may not understand there is a downtime in the military. Some personnel may watch movies. Some play cards. Some write poems. I also note the famous In Flanders Fields poem was written by a Canadian military officer. So this time, what he said really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Good. Because my prediction, as your friendly neighborhood psychic advisor, is that he may be listed to be in there till 2027. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't know how they're going to oust him. I don't know what they're going to do. But I get trouble. At the same time, I feel he's had some he's had some financial problems. And now that he's Mr. Woke, um, I get payments being paid to him. PAC money, I don't know, but some fund money, yes. So I actually feel that he was the designated person to go after the army. And again, the man never served a day in his life, and he was a coach. Yay. Please. I mean, okay, there's coaches out there that are really great. But this guy seems like a misogynistic whatever. I can't say the word here. And um, time will tell. But I really feel by the end of the year, it's taken care of. Okay? Now, Celtic Seer. Will any arrests take place before the end of the year that affects members of the legislative branch? And on that same note, Linda Walker's asking, do you see the MAGAs in Congress being prosecuted for their participation in the insurrection before the end of the year? Number one, I do see them prosecuted, but not before the end of the year. Number two, will there be arrests? Yes, but not right away because they have to be indicted first. And well, they indict them and then arrest them. But what I'm saying is yes, yes, yes. Like I've said before, I'll say it again. Jack Smith is like Santa Claus with his list, checking it twice. And there are names on there. And these people are going to get in trouble. And I want to say, you know, Jim Jordan's one of them. And Matt Gates, my tragic girlfriend, MTG, or a little cloven hoes, and others. Because they were part of the insurrection. And Josh Holly with his fist bump, yay. And then he runs like a little girl, you know, away from the crowd. So yeah, again, entertainment purpose only. But there's going to be a lot of arrests, yes. But not as soon as you think. Justice is served. It may take some time, but it does get served. Okay? So just bear that in mind and don't freak out. Moving on. What about the threats from Huckabee, Gates, and others if 45 is not on the ballot? Sure seems like freedom of speech is more like threat of violence. Anything going to do, be done about that? Well, the whole thing about the, using the 14th Amendment, Section 3, about ousting Trump or making him uneligible to run, it's a good, it's a good argument. Um, and I feel it will go to some courts. However, I've said in the past, if it does go to the Supreme Court, which I'm not getting 100%, but close to it, if it does go to the Supreme Court, they're not going to side with Trump. I mean, think about it. This band of judges is going to, oh, the guy's a dictator. He's a fascist. Let's bring him back into power. 
and then we all get our heads cut off. Ain't going to happen. Okay? At least that's the way I'm seeing it. And so that's why I'm saying it. So, yeah. The, it's a lot of hot air. It's a lot of sound bites. You know, that's all this is. Because when you really look at it, they sound like bullies, but when you go against them, they're like the cockroaches when you turn the light on in the New York apartment. They scatter under the refrigerator and everywhere else. So, sweetie darling Lulu, I do love your name. Arthur, thank you for taking my question. I had no choice. Sarah Huckabee seems to be making a mark in Arkansas, especially when it comes to children. Will she only be a one-term governor? Now, the thing about children is she's trying to get rid of child labor laws. So what? You can have the kids in a sweatshop getting 25 cents an hour? You know. And they're save the children. Yeah, save the children so they can make some cheap sweaters for us and we can charge a lot of money. Just wrong. And I always remember her in that black and white striped dress of hers where it was who wore it best her or the hamburger so that being said and done moving forward i do feel unfortunately i don't know if she's going to get a second term it's going to be close but those people hoodwinked they, they, they the propaganda they only live in a bubble and hear what they are told you know, that's why I really feel they're trying to get these charter schools and all the other thing going so that there's no critical thinking. So nobody's critical of them and they can do what they want. They dumb everyone down. But there's a lot of smart people out there too, like us. So as I've said before, I'll say it again. You know, my three favorite words, vote, vote, vote. I will repeat that. Vote, vote, vote. That's the only way we can make any changes here. The right way. Not the way they do things because they they cheat, lie, and steal. Literally. Where progressives and Democrats just try and always be above board. Sometimes I wish we were more off the books. But at least we have a conscious. Now, LH commented, Hi, Arthur. What do you see in the political future for U.S. Representative Katie Porter? Thank you. You know, it's going to be a tight race. You have Katie Porter, you have Barbara Lee, and you have Adam Schiff all going after the seat that's going to be open when Diane Feinstein leaves. And while I feel Katie Porter is wonderful, in fact, she really did a mic drop with one uh, commentator that was making Biden sound like it was a feeble old man that, oh, did you hear that Biden couldn't go to work today? He had a root canal. And she just turned around and said, have you ever had a root canal? And I love her whiteboards that she brings in and just rips everyone to shreds with the truth. But I don't see it this time around. I feel she's still going far. I might be wrong. But actually, I see Adam Schiff getting that seat. But then I don't see him taking it until he's 95. And then I feel Katie Porter can then step in when the time is right. Because she's a force to be reckoned with. She's not leaving politics anytime soon. She knows where the bodies are kept. She knows where the shovels are. And she knows how to get and say the right things to really get under their skin. God bless her. So Meg Garo commented, will Thomas and Alito be removed from the court? Will their corrupt bought decisions be reversed? How can the buying of a decision be stopped in the future? Well, that's why the Senate 
is trying to come up with rules and regulations for all judges to be equal. Right now, the Supreme Court is their own little fiefdom. And I've said, and I'll say again, yes, Thomas is going to step down. He may because of health. Now, today, Alito refused to recuse himself uh, when a lawyer that was handling a case did an op-ed piece or co-wrote an op-ed piece, you know, praising the glory of Alito. Yeah, say that 10 times. But anyway, I feel, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, I feel that when Biden's reelected, he'll be replacing at least two Supreme Court justices. Number one, and one will be a woman. Number two, as we get into the next five years, the court will be expanded. And I've always said to 13. Why? Because the reason why we have nine Supreme Court justices is when they originally voted for it. At that time, we had nine appellate courts. Now we have 13 appellate courts. So it makes sense you have a Supreme Court justice for each appellate court. I mean, we're talking about politics and so nothing makes sense, but or logic. But that's what I'm seeing. And I do feel that, you know, it's going to go somewhere. Um, let's see here. Lee. Hi, Arthur. I'm curious about the situation in Chicago. We have lost over 250 babies, young kids to gun violence. We have a new mayor and chief of police, Brandon Johnson. Go, Brandon. Is a former school teacher, man of color, and he carries and he cares you can really tell. Also, he's an Aries. Gotta love him. Will he be successful in his noble work also trying to eradicate homelessness here? Blessings to all. Yes. The thing is, I feel this guy is going to wield some quiet power. Not like tell everybody like what he's doing and going out there. and He's just going to get it done. Quietly. He knows how to talk to people. He knows how to communicate with people. He knows what it is to be in those situations. And, you know, he's tired of hearing about Chicago being pointed at when there are other cities in this country, if not worse, but they're in red states and we're not going to hear about it. So, yeah. That I do get. As you say, go Brandon. Yay. Marianne 48. Hi, Arthur. Congress has been holding UFO hearings. Will we hear about the biolic biolics that were discovered? Also parts of UFOs. Thank you. I don't think they call them UFOs anymore, but Yes, quietly, a little at a time, because they don't want us to panic. They, I still, I feel they have a lot more information they're letting on that they're holding on to that they're not supposed to be holding on to. But little at a time, things are going to get released. And yes, we are not alone. So yeah. Besides, everyone knows that is in tune to the world that there's a shift coming. And we're already in parts of these shifts. So if you've been getting dizzy, headaches, fatigued, ringing in your ears, stuff like that, that's part of the download. Yeah, we're in Mercury retrograde too, but it's part of the download of the shift. So just go with the flow in this because we're all here to elevate. That's why we're here. That's why we're on this community page together. That's why we're here communicating with each other because we get it. Not to sound too airy fairy, but it's true. So, yes. Rosalind Haver. Morning, Arthur. A Canadian question. Bonjour. Do you see Pelvier? I don't know if I said that name right or not. Doing more good than harm for Canada, i.e., will he help people on disability or cater more to the rich and the business? Thank you. Much appreciated. 
I feel like it's going to be both. But for some reason, I get this guy being able to navigate in both worlds and to assimilate himself, but not in a fake way, but really genuine from the heart. He reads as he read, does stuff generally from the heart. At least that's what I'm getting right now. So I feel you guys will be in good hands. Believe it or not. Next question from SF Mistress. Will Alex Murdo get a new trial amidst the allegations of jury tampering by the courts? Yes. There's something coming down. However, it's going to be the same outcome. So there you go. Nancy Markle, 2484. Is the story about Prince Andrew and the two Ukrainian children true? No. No. I honestly, if I felt that I was saying, yes, I am not feeling that. I do not get that. And to me, it's like, in today's society, when somebody kind of like is being doubted or down, it's like, I feel the MAGA people are basically hit them, hit them when they're down, kick them. And we can't let that go on. But as far as Prince Andrew and Ukrainian children, no. I mean, I was talking to a friend who, well, ex-friend, who was saying about the Russians have every right to invade Ukraine because all they do is traffic children and they're drug addicts and sell drugs. And I'm like looking at her and saying, and who is your source on this? It ends up being a relative to a Russian oligarch. So basically, that's the propaganda that they're spreading. So at first, the Russian people believe this. But as the war goes on, everybody's getting tired of Putin, literally. Things are going to change. And as I predicted before, I feel as we get into March of 2024, he's not going to be around. He's going to be taken out. Plain and simple. So that's your Arthur Unplugged tonight, people. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope it made you laugh, giggle, think. But most of all, know that you're here for a reason because I have no life and this is all I have and just kidding thank you my friends have a great weekend have a great night and just be kind to yourself be kind to others and as always have fun and stay amazing okay night